Welcome back to another video. You know, I was just sitting there gaming and whatnot, just playing the game. I don't remember exactly what game that I was playing. But while I was sitting there, I was bored, wondering to myself, just a random thought. Why do people actually hate Genshin the way they do? Genshin players. <laughs> Everybody see Genshin players the exact same. Even people that don't even play games will see Genshin players the exact same way. You look like someone who would play League of Legends. You look like a Genshin Impact enjoyer. Have you ever played that? Fat, smelly, don't take showers, don't know the age of consent, literally everywhere. It's like a new League of Legends stepped into town or something. We're at a point in time where Genshin is kind of getting the My Hero treatment. The normal people at Genshin won't say, hey, yeah, I play Genshin because they know the kind of backlash they'll get. It's not stupidly serious backlash, but you'll get that, ill, you're cringe, you play Genshin. This is what people think of Genshin. Now, I'm not a guy who usually uses social media, I don't like social media, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, so on and so forth. I personally don't like to use any of it. I can see stuff that's going on in it, but I wouldn't spend my spare time surfing it. So out of boredom and curiosity, I decided to go on an adventure and find out things about Genshin and why people hate Genshin. Is there really a bunch of pedos on there? Is it really that bad? Well, starting off all of this, let's just go back for a sec. Genshin released September of 2020. First day, there were 16 million players. Talking about you had huge streamers playing the game too, like Pokimane, XQC, bringing even more attraction to the game. If you think about that, that's a shit ton of people that's already playing the game. Genshin is a lot of people's first gacha game and first anime game in general. Some people don't even watch anime, but they decided, all right, I'm going to download Genshin. Before a bunch of people got on the game, people mainly hated Genshin because it was a quote-unquote Breath of the Wild copycat. Some of the people who were hardcore Breath of the Wild fans just saw Genshin as a copy of Breath of the Wild. They saw it as gotcha anime Breath of the Wild or Breath of the Wild with anime bitches inside of them. But the issue here is that a lot of the open world games was just starting to be labeled as Breath of the Wild copycat. Anytime there's open world, oh, they're trying so hard to be Breath of the Wild. It may, I never played Breath of the Wild, so I can't really have an opinion after a certain amount of time breath of the wild isn't the only thing that was a problem it was also the fact that it's a gotcha and some people just absolutely hate gotcha games some people say that there's too many kids inside of the game or there's too many girls that look underage inside of the game but then they pull the ah she's actually three thousand years old funny enough there actually is one character inside of the game that looks like a kid but is actually 500 years old or something does that mean that you're allowed to lose her or whatever no now do people actually forget the age of consent inside of genshin ah uh, sadly they do there has been instances where somebody forgot the age of consent i have two main people here first is a guy who was a content creator really hard to find stuff on this guy it's as if he never existed like he got wiped off of the face of the fucking internet this guy here is emory or amori amori was a guy who was growing pretty fast within the genshin content creator creator space. He was getting in between 200 to 300,000 views a video. He was considered a comfort YouTuber. He didn't really do anything stupidly special besides just enjoy the game. In my eyes at least. It was just, you know, fun challenges and enjoying the game. But there was a problem and that problem was him making sexual jokes towards they call Lolly. And Lolly's is just considered underage kid or underage girl. Lolly Khan is a guy who's into little girls i'll get back to that later this guy would sexualize the little kids inside of the games and also make sexual remarks towards them but say that it was a quote-unquote joke about it it didn't really get stupidly serious until like a day later <laughs> He went from growing rapidly fast to declining within a two-day span. One of the mistakes that he made was having kid characters' thighs as a thumbnail. Literally, their thighs as a thumbnail. And it was really obvious 
realized that it was the kids because you can see the clothes of the characters inside of there. There's also people coming out talking about how he's exposing minors to CP inside of his server, like uh, Lolly Hentai and other stuff like that. There's some people that actually came out about it saying their experiences with the guy and what he said and did inside of the server. This guy was 21 at the time. He was asking minors and whatnot for lewds and nudes and sexually talking to them. He also apparently did some weird poll about Klee, Dion, and Titi, which all three are kid characters. He made an apology video and he also talked about deleting his Discord server within an hour. His apology video wasn't as much as an apology. It was just him sitting there saying he's stressed and he I can't, can't take, take it, it anymore. anymore. So he won't be making any more videos and whatnot. Here is the video. Hey everyone, you can read the text if you want this probably be my last video because honestly i'm too stressed to keep doing this i just want to thank you all for the support sorry but this video is not gonna be very interesting now absolutely no one accepted this guy's apology not a singular person said ah uh, it's okay in fact they shit on him even more and made fun of him it was so bad to the point where he had to turn off the dislikes and the comments inside of there and then like five hours later he just deleted the entire channel even the biggest content creator at the time Bwop, came out and said something about amori i used to watch some of your videos and i thought you were a good player but you used your discord and platform to groom minors. Once Amori disappeared off of the face of the internet, everybody just kind of forgot about him. But there is speculation that this guy here, or Leaf, is Amori undercover or something like that. I don't know. I, there's no like definitive proof that it is him. I won't bother with it. This is editing Narinto, and I lied. I actually decided to check up on this channel a little bit. Turns out it actually is Amori. This is his other channel that he's been uploading to. It's not stupidly frequent that he uploads uploads but he's still alive and uploading i checked his youtube lives sounds exactly like him and then you also have these comments so do what you will with that this person actually works for hoyoverse the game developers of genshin the voice actor he was a chinese voice actor for a bird of a character bird inside of the game named oz now what this guy did i'm not 100 sure if he spoke to minors did have relationships with multiple women while inside of a marriage <laughs> marriage only lasted for one month. He was inside of a marriage for one month and then rizzed up some girls with this in-game voice. Fanagirl was even on the verge of committing suicide after knowing his true nature. He's quite a famous voice actor. However, the scandal led to the cancellation of his contracts with many game companies and media houses. This one was quick and easy. It was real fast. However, the most recent voice actor, this guy got way out of line. This is probably the cringy part of the entire video. The entire Genshin online community is really bad, but this one guy, I, I think he deserves a medal just for how bad he really is. My man Bro, Elliot over corny. here, which was the Tainari voice actor for English. Now this guy got caught with multiple minors, not just one or two but multiple his strategy for keeping them quiet would be you know just manipulating them and giving giving him self-pity he would talk about cutting himself or you know he's gonna commit suicide if they do so and so making them feel guilty as if they have to stay there and try to comfort him and you know keep talking to him otherwise something bad would happen to him they would feel guilty of it so elliot stooped down so low to the point where he made sexual remarks about an eight-year old to the eight-year-old sister or brother it said she left giggling to make more drawings elliot asked me who was that i told him she was my little sister he said she would produce cute moans i swear to god my world shattered when i hear him he kept saying lewd things that he imagined how it would be to have me and my sister under his touches i honestly don't know how you even think of this stuff it's like you don't think before you speak i'm not gonna read too much of this because this is some next level cringe this is an official voice actor for the hit game genshin impact i see you i'm gonna fuck so hard i think i've read enough for that guy she replies oh ha ha i'm more into girls actually so i don't really like that sort of stuff he says that's okay i don't mind i think that's pretty hot you're allowed to fuck girls just make sure she's hot he says you do know i'm 13 right 13 question mark yeah oh my god i'm so sorry what the fuck is wrong with me i'm gonna cut myself sorry when he got excited 
exposed and it was just spreading like wildfire on Twitter, he went to another miner that he was talking to saying, you're not talking to anyone about this, right? Sorry, buddy. Expose the entire world. What makes this even more funny and amazing, Sven said, what do you want me to do for your forgiveness? You used to wrong your. She proceeds to correct his your. I love it. And said, you're nothing without me. Good luck getting this out because I'm deleting it. He did make an apology on Twit longer, but the, the apology was ass. The apology meant nothing. No one cared for the apology. Not a single person accepted the apology. All right, so that was pretty much the like people who work for Hoyo and content creator side. Let's talk about the whole community now, which gets bullied the most. Now, real quick, there was a case of a man trying to stab a Hoyo employee or a Hoyo staff member, but this actually wasn't because of Genshin Impact, but it had to do with Honkai Impact. When I first heard of this a while ago, I thought it had to do with Genshin, but apparently it really has to do with Honkai. Now, this thing wasn't exactly big. Now, the thing I'm going to speak of has to do with Moga or Mogadi. It used to be previously known as Mogadi. I made a video before titled Triple Lolly Gameplay. It was Klee, Diona, and Chi Chi on an adventure. It was absolutely nothing sexual going on. What Genshin players like to do is they like to lynch people who says the word lolly. They automatically assume lolly to be short for lollycon, which doesn't make any sense because if you call a lolly a lolly, now you're saying that they're a lollycon, which you're calling them the pedophile, which that doesn't make sense. I've explained this before. Since it's a whole nother language, of course, there's going to be some mistranslation and other stuff like that, especially when there's idiots on the internet who researches absolutely nothing. It's like how you say sis, but there's also siscon. So do you saying sis just automatically mean you're into your sister or something like that? Doesn't really make any sense, does it? Moga goes inside of his comment section. And he's like, some of y'all need to lighten up. I've seen the term lolly used way more just as a simple descriptor as I'm doing here. You got idiots. They're not lollies. They're children. You just said they're not little girls. They're children. Now Moga, he simply deleted the video after a while. I don't know exactly how long. I can't find that. I don't think he made an apology. If I remember correctly, he did say sorry about it inside of another video, but it wasn't a whole video dedicated to it. Correct me if I'm wrong. I honestly do not know. He might have actually apologized. I think he did, but I'm just not 100% sure. Now, this community is something really, really special. Something is definitely wrong with the, the online vocal part of the community. As I've said before the people who just sit there quietly and play the game i've met some of those people and those people are actually normal people they don't do anything out of line or anything they just simply sit there enjoy game and then continue on with their day the other people who don't go outside and don't use any kind of brain cell those are the weirdos i'm talking about you got people on tiktok making songs about killing content creators you have bomb threats going to content creators death threats that's going to content creators. There was a bomb threat that went out to a content creator. I don't remember the exact reason why this person got a bomb threat. Atsu or Asian guy got a bomb threat. It's like, hey, yeah, pipe bomb inside of your mailbox, by the way. Ha ha. You have, a, you have a surprise in your PO box. I covered this inside of the video that I made about Genshin Twitter a long time ago, but it's really not just content creators that has to go through this. It's also people who obviously work for fucking Hoyo. Voice actors for characters that's bad inside of the game, they have it tough. Instead of players being like, ah, I, I hate this character, they instead go take their anger out on the person who voiced the character, which the person who voiced the character has nothing to do with the power of that character. It's like they remember, oh, this character is fictional, so I can't take my anger out on this character. So instead, I'm going to take my anger out on the person who voices the character. The Chinese voice actress for Kakomi got harassed so badly to the point where she restricted chat inside of her stream. Another voice actress that ended up getting harassed was the voice actress for Dory. And then you have morons who tries to cancel a fictional character because of their ancestors not even because of the character story but because of the ancestors and if you want that character you're supporting what their ancestors did a character named eula ancestors they actually own slaves apparently and so people wanted to cancel eula and dislike eula 
because of that. Now, racism is a thing inside of the community too. It's most definitely a thing. A character is either too white or not dark enough. I've seen people make other characters who's not even black go black and they'd be like, oh my gosh, she or he looks so good in black. I think the worst of them all though is the shippers. The people who ship characters are by far the worst. They are some real weirdos. People who think that, you know, every character is gay, lesbian, or something like that. And if you were to ship them with the opposite sex, you would actually get harassed pretty badly. If you even put a quote unquote lesbian character with a guy inside of the same frame, dog, they will riot. Oh, that person's a lesbian. There is nothing on the character being lesbian. Not a single thing. You thought you were going to get lynched for saying the word lolly? No. You're going to get absolutely fucking crucified if you were to try to ship a quote unquote lesbian character with the fucking male. Try shipping gay with Ayato. To be honest, I don't think this community is filled with a bunch of pedophiles. I just think that it's filled with a bunch of fucking idiots. A lot of people inside of this community, that's just, they, they need to have their internet access revoked. Some people just have too much freedom on the internet, man. So do I think there's a reason to actually hate this community? Yes, 100% I do. I, I believe that there is a serious reason to think that this community is really bad. But as I said before, it's because of the people who's way loud and like the loud people are the weirdos I mean, there's there's other big games and you know big anime shows whatever and the community isn't incredibly fucking weird but sadly this game just had to get a bunch of weirdos man that's just how it is if you're gonna play this game then you know just keep to yourself ignore the people online it's a solo game it's a pve game you can sit there and enjoy the game by yourself there was other stuff that i could have put inside of the video but i don't think that youtube would like that i'm just gonna wrap it up for today's video hope you enjoyed if you did leave a like if you didn't take an anger out on the like button and sub button see you again next time